Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World. I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup trends, do subscription box unboxings, makeup hauls, and whatever I can think of beauty-wise to film for y'all. And if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> so today I have a subscription box. I have the BoxyCharm Premium arrived yesterday. Today's uh, What's today? Monday the 9th, the day after Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day um, to all you mothers out there. But I got my box of charm cream. It was probably sad. Maybe it was Saturday. I got it. So it's out uh, for the month of May. So I got it fairly early this month, which is amazing. But then I have some boxy charm um, add ons came earlier this month. I think it's upside down. And I was saving it to open that with you with one of the boxes. So if you want to see what's in my BoxyCharm Premium for May 2022, keep on watching. All right, so welcome back everybody. So happy to see you all. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Before you leave, consider subscribing if you like it. Hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post a new video. I try to post a video at least every other day. It just depends on my work schedule. Sometimes I can do a little more. Sometimes I miss a day uh, because I'm a nurse and sometimes I take call. And if I'm working too much, I can't make a video. <laughs> just gets in the way. Uh, hit that like button. Give me a good thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And to my current subscribers, welcome back. So happy to see you all. You know, I love to see you down in my comment sections so I know who's here. Because I don't know who likes the videos and, you know, doesn't YouTube doesn't show you that. But if you leave me a comment, I know who's been here and who's not. <laughs> well, I don't know who's not, but because... I get a lot more views than I have subscribers. So, <clears throat> in case you're wondering what's on my eyes, you know, I just did the Sydney Grace uh, mystery bags and swatch party. I decided to try the Sydney Grace shadows. And I'm wearing the, all the shadows from the light green bag. You see, I got them all in my little palette. And this center row is everything from the light green bag. This is the light tote bag, and this was the light purple bag. So I went with the greens, <laughs> and I used all five colors. I also used this highlighter right down here in my inner corner and under my brow, and I used this blush on top of a cream blush, a new cream blush. Um, so I powdered on top. All right, so yeah, and they're very nice. Okay really like to put playing with those shadows and putting them on and creating this eye look let me know what you think all right all right so let's get into the boxy charm premium for may 2022 i know that's what you all are here for i'm going to open i have not even sliced the tape open i've done nothing it's been it got here and it's sitting here waiting for me i don't even remember what i chose <laughs> This is so long ago. Today is uh, the May 9th. Today was Toys for June already. I'm like, oh, barely getting out of the boxes. My, both my base boxes are on the way. So this is what she looks like inside. The blue interior means it's a premium. All right. Black is for Lux. Red is for base. <clears throat> All right. Let's set this over here. So this, uh, the premium box, I believe is... I think it's $40, like $39.99 a month now. The base box went up to $28 a month. I did pay for um, a year ahead of time to get like a free box in there. Um, in the If you prepay for a year. All right. Super Bloom. All right. On the back, they always tell you everything that's in the box. We have a version number C2205. 212 and then PM for premium. So this is version number 212. All right. And it says tag it at pound of boxy super bloom for a chance to be featured. And I always use their tags. I don't think they've ever featured me. 
Not that I know of. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take out the packaging. All right. And we've got a full box in here. Oh, this one I chose. Yeah, I remember now. So we're going to save that one for last. All right, so this is my base blue. I think I got this before. Dry and wet dual action facial cleansing wipes. Yeah. Okay. And I have this and I have not opened it yet. I have not tried it. Oh, look, it has day and night. So I guess I'll have to try it now that I've got two. I mean, that's okay that it's a repeat because it's, you know, cleansing wipes. Um, I do do a dual cleanse. Anyway, I use some kind of balm and makeup remover, and then I wash again with a, a cleanser. So I'll give this a try. All right, so let's, let's see what this says about it. Uh, where are we? Base Blue Cosmetics Dry and Wet Dual Action Facial Cleansing Wipes. Um, $21 is MSRP. They're ready to go tablets that whisk away face and eye makeup without irritation. The dry beauty wipes foam up once activated with water and gently remove any excess oil and sloth off dead cells from the skin. Each individually wrapped wipe can be used as a pair for double cleansing to take off heavy makeup after an evening out. Okay. So there's that. So the next thing we have um, Skin & Co. Romo Truffle Therapy Ultra Pure Facial Oil. It's pure oil. So I have used stuff from this brand before and used some of their Truffle Therapy Skin Care. I know it's um, pretty expensive, so I've never, like, bought it at, at the store, you know. I've only bought it through, like, BoxyCharm add-ons and Ipsy add-ons. I, I can't even remember, but this is what it looks like, so that's pretty. I don't think I've ever tried the oil, though. All right. Pretty bottle. It's a glass bottle. And let's see. Truffle Therapy Ultra Pure Facial Oil. Let me get in the camera. And retails for $68. Yeah, I told you that they're pricey, this truffle therapy. And I do like it. Everything, other things I've tried, I've tried, you know, some, um, like some toners and um, I think I have an eye cream. So let's see. Get that lit from within glow with this multitasking truffle therapy ultra pure facial oil formulated with a proprietary ultra rich and antioxidant Black Winter Truffle Extract, Brightening Carrot Oil, Nourishing Blend of Olive, Jojoba, Sweet Almond, and Sunflower Oils, and Soothing Calendula Extract. This exclusive non-comedogenic formula absorbs quickly in the skin to deeply moisturize and optimize hydration, revealing a rejuvenated complexion. All right, let's uh, give it a, a smell. Okay. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. I'm going to put a little drop in my hand. That's a nice dropper. See, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of uh, tilted there, and it let out just one drop really nice. And it blends in very nice. Yeah, just that one little drop. Okay. All right. Does smell good yeah all right I don't know if it's the almond oil but it smells good all right so the next in my box is from Elemis superfood midnight facial nourishing sleeping cream by Elemis 50 mls <clears throat> and that was the first thing on the list this retails for $50 some high-end skincare, right? Oh, that smells good. That's got a good smell. It's like a fruity scent. Let's read about it and see if it will reveal what that scent is because it smells very good. Uh, a prebiotic overnight sleeping cream that leaves dry, thirsty skin feeling silky soft, radiant, and replenished with moisture 
upon waking, infused with superfoods, camu camu, banana flower, and cocoa nib extract. This vitamin and mineral rich formula nourishes the skin and minimizes visible signs of fatigue. MSRP is $50. So I don't know, banana flower, cocoa nibs, or I don't know, but it smells good. I'm going to put some on my hand. It's kind of a gel moisturizer type of um, formula here. Yeah, it's kind of a gel moisturizer. All right. It's absorbing nice. You can still kind of smell that whatever the smell is, but it's um it's kind of it's subtle. It's subtle. And I don't mind a little, you know, subtle scents in my skincare as long as it doesn't smell yucky, you know, like like medicine. I don't like that kind of smell. This is more of a fruity smell. God, it smells good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be using this tonight. <laughs> All right. So next thing in the box, you get six items in here, by the way, in case I forgot to say it. Um, what's this? Uh, vegan KVD Beauty. Okay. Don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. It's an XO lip gloss. And it looks like Magnolia. Here, let's see if we can see. Yeah, Magnolia 60 is the color. Let's open. That's going to tear. Oh, oh. There, got it. Almost tore it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty packaging. Look at that. All right. That well, smells good. I put it on my hand here. It's a pretty lip gloss. Okay, it's got like a, a brownish tint, magnolia. It smells good. So I put some on. I'm just wearing a lip cream right now. It's the new Maraduka um, lip cream in Irish. In Iris, not Irish. Hmm. Doesn't blend very easily, does it? Look at that. I have to use my finger. Is it a slight tint, but I don't like how it looks like it balls up, doesn't it? I don't know. My lips look crooked. <laughs> don't they? They look crooked. I don't know if I like this lip gloss or not. I don't think I do. It's kind of smooth. But it is on top of a lip cream. But I just, it didn't go on. Maybe if I put it on without anything on my, else on my lips. So I'll have to try it again with nothing on my lips, but I don't know. So we'll see. Let's see what it says about it. Don't do gloss. Neither did we until now. Now, you know, we're all about being bold, high pigment and high performance. So we're doing gloss our way. Exo Lip Gloss has more pigment than other sheer glosses. And you won't find any gritty shimmer here. It's high impact, extreme shine, will keep you swiping, and it's got KVD Signature Cream Brulee flavor. Maybe that's the scent, the Cream Brulee, so that's that's fine. And an ultra creamy, comfortable feel that even our vegan friends can indulge in. So it doesn't look very glossy though, does it? It does not look glossy at all. Yeah. Uh, so far I'm not a fan of that. All right, next in my box, ooh, we got some brushes. 
Look at how cute they are in this little bag. It's from LaRousse Beauty. Okay, says it on the back. A cute little uh, zipper pouch. Comes with three brushes. I bet you, how much you want to bet? I haven't looked yet. How much you want to bet these are like $98 or something crazy like that? Because <laughs> they're decent brushes, but I don't know. All right, it's got the signature um, handles on there. They're like little dots. So this is a nice uh, angled blending brush. All right. And then we have, it looks like a little face brush. That feels nice. I like the pink color. Usually I've gotten some of these in gray and some in black. So I don't have any pink ones. Oh, this says um, contour blending. So they tell you what they're for. What does this one say? <laughs> it's hard to read the white on the pink. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it better up here. Um, I think it says angled blending. This doesn't want to. There we go. Angled shade. Angled shading. LR one seventeen. Okay, and then this last one, this looks like a kind of angle kabuki brush, flat angle. Not really flat, but I guess it will fit in your cheeks. Yeah, it kind of fits kind of perfect right on that high cheekbone. So, you can use it for that. All right, so, all right, I'm, I'm, you know I like to get me some good brushes. So that does it. Looking for my garbage can. Sorry. All right. Let's look it up. Larisse Beauty three-piece contour brush set with at service by limited edition pouch. $50. Okay. So not as bad as I thought. All right. Uh, has a flat angle contour blending and angled shading are the perfect brush trio for contouring with your favorite formulas. They apply and seamlessly blend contours for the most flawless finish. Oh. All right. So I guess, yeah. All right. So I guess you can contour with a powder with this and maybe more of a cream with this. And you can use this angled one to um, contour around your nose. All right. All right. Happy to get those. That's exciting. All right, and the last thing in my box I almost didn't get because I didn't choose it at first because I thought I had it already. And then when I went back and looked, I saw, oh, it's a different palette. It's from Trace Loose Beauty. And you know, I just recently got the I Am palette finally. And so I thought it was that palette again because, you know, all the repeats. <laughs> but... It says La Flor de Mexico. So every time I went in, they, they leave um, choice open for a few days, and the BoxyCharm allows you to change your choice. Whereas Ipsy, once you make your choice, that's it. You're, you're done. All right? They don't let you go back and change it. Um, so I went back, and it was like not available, not available, not available. And then one day, it was available. And so I snagged it up. All right, I can't get the box open. There we go. We'll open it at this end. So this is from Trace Loose Beauty La Flor de Mexico palette. And remember, I just I got the I Am palette, and I used that recently. Okay, so it comes in this cardboard. All right. And that's what she looks like. Very pretty. They got that on the edges of the box that design all right and let's see what it says first um, a mix of 18 matte shimmer and metallic shades uh, infused with Mexican blue agave this perfect for spring palette features a keepsake removable mirror and illustration by artist in the maverick Unbella Recuerdo of travels through Mexico for our founder Becky G. 
This palette serves as a reminder of the motherland, the beautiful flowers, and her family, and it retails for $30. Well, that's nice. All right. So here, and here's the uh, mirror. I think I showed you that in the other palette. I like forgot to show you, but it, the mirror comes out. All right. Oh, look, and it's got the same design in there. And then inside it says Me Mise Amours. Primavera is here. And she gives you a little little note. Love Becky G. All right. So there's her little note. Okay. And there's the palette. This one's a little more neutral than the first palette. So yeah, maybe I'll try this for work tomorrow. This looks pretty. All right. This looks very pretty. Oh, I like how she does the shimmers. It's like two mattes, two shimmers, two mattes, and then two shimmers, two mattes, two shimmers, and then on the bottom, two mattes, two shimmers, two mattes. And it goes from light to dark. So white, you got a white here, and then all the way down to a dark brown over here. So, and the shades, they look like they're enough different, you know? Sometimes when you get a neutral palette, some of the shades look very similar. Like this one over here almost has a little green, a muted green tone to it. All right, and this is like a reddish brown in here, get all the way to a dark brown. All right, let's 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 swatch some of these. <clears throat> we have Yucca Floor. That's a, the white in the corner. And the next one is Morning Glory. Okay, and then we have Orchid and Birds of Paradiso. All right, they feel good. Let's see how the mattes and shimmers. That white one's very light. Let's try that again. to build that up but it looks better in camera all right very light shimmers but pretty I want to try this um, the green one and then next with the green one's called Jardin and then pineapple sage are the next two these these mats feel really really creamy though all right Yeah, they're not, they go on really nice. All right. So the white I'd probably use as like an inner corner, maybe an inner corner mat. Um, and let's do, oh, look at this. We'll do the two at the bottom, Marigold and Nopal. These are two other shimmers. Oh, these feel creamier than the top two. I think the top two are more um, like topper shades. These feel nice. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, see the first two I think are topper shades. These are more shimmer stuff for all over the lid. And it's that, that nopal, that last one, that's a, a green shade I could use with Jardin. <laughs> I like my greens, in case you didn't notice. All right. So, yeah. So, I like this. Okay. I'm going to try this this week for work one day, and I will post the pictures on Instagram. So, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, go over there and follow me. It's at JVKRN, and I have the link down in my description box. All right. With all my socials. All right. So hang on while I total up everything in the box. All right, so the total for my box is $238. I like everything in the box except for this lip gloss, but I will try it again. But look, it doesn't look shiny at all like a lip gloss should be. You know what I mean? So I'll try it without a lip cream on and see. <laughs> but I liked everything else of this eye palette I think I'm going to really enjoy. Um, the Skin Co. Uh, facial oil, I think I'll enjoy that. And the Elemis Superfood 
uh, Midnight Mask, Midnight Facial. I think I'll enjoy that too. And the brushes are feel really nice. So I'm excited to try all that. So that was that six. Oh yeah, and my um, the wipes. I, I'll try them this time. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I've got another box in in my stash that I haven't opened yet. But I'll I'll try them. I'll try them out. All right. So now I want to show you um, what I got in add-ons. All right. Hang on while I clean this up a little bit. Okay. So I fixed the lips. I re-added my Maracucha new lip cream. I got all six shades. I believe there were six shades available on QVC and they came in three packs for a deal. So I, I got them both. <laughs> so this is the first one I'm trying. It's an iris. So uh, I've got all, all new makeup I tried on today. All right. So let's see what I got in my add-ons. I wrapped it up like that. Nice. Oh, I could reuse that. That's some good paper. It's nice and thick, too. It's like in several layers of it. All right. So, all right. So, first thing I bought was this Clean Skin, skin Club Clean Towels. I really let, enjoy these. I, I get them in my box of charm add-ons all the time. I think I got one in one of my boxes, and I really liked them. But they're towels cleaner than your towel. So they got, um, inside here, they got little stickies. You can stick them right on your mirror and then put, open it up. And then when you want to dry your hands or face, you pull out a clean towel to use. They're softer than a paper towel. They're cleaner than your regular towels that are hanging there. And I've, I just really enjoy these. And so every time I see them in add-ons, I get me a backup because uh, I use them. I, I use them a lot. And there's a bigger size, too. Right now I've got the big size boxes like this, <laughs> which is, can be a little too big. I kind of prefer this size, you know, because uh, when you can dry your hands, you, you don't need a huge towel, right? But, um, yeah, so I use those. And then... And then I'll use them for uh, squeezing out my beauty sponges when I wet them. And I squeeze out the ex excess water when I'm doing my makeup. So, yeah, so I like those. So then I got uh, from one size, the Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. I got one of these in one of my boxes, and I use it every day. This stuff is great. This stuff is great. It's a spray-on, all right? And you just spray it on your face. After you wet your face, I spray this on and the makeup just melts off. So here, I'm going to show you on my arm here. And I don't mind using this. I've got one open, but, you know, I'll go through I'll go through it because I use it. Like I said, I use it every day. So you spray it on there. And then... Wipe it off. Look at that. Wipes off. So I use this, you know, when I have a hard time getting my swatches off, I'll spray it. Look, sometimes I'll try eyeliners and stuff and swatch them and then they won't come off. But yeah, nice and clean. Took every bit of the makeup off. So it, it makes my, taking off my eye makeup a lot easier and it has a, a good scent to it so I highly recommend this I got this for nine dollars in the add-ons so I forget how much it's at least double that if you've got it in the store so if you see it in add-ons pick one up if you haven't tried it yet you will not regret it I promise you I promise you all right so then next I got two color pop so juicies Okay, I have one that I bought from ColourPop. So these were like a lot cheaper. They're in Princess Cut and Stunton. All right, so of course, I think these are like, I don't remember, but a lot cheaper than on the site. On the site, I think they're at least $8. So this is a clear one. And then, like I said, I have one open. I keep it out in my living room. And then this one. And they smell good. They're 
like a thick gloss and they got kind of a, a minty um, you know uh, plumping they're plumping gloss so if you like plumping glosses I like these and they're th and they're thick so I usually wear these just at home around the house to moisturize my lips to plump my lips and uh, yeah so I got two more because they were cheap they were cheaper and I like them I like the formula all right and then the last thing I got is from Huda Beauty the purple haze palette I have a, I think I have the khaki haze palette be back here I'll have to go look all right so but I don't have the purple haze palette so you know my next favorite color besides greens is purples you know I'm I like the neutral looks I, I love the neutral looks but when I'm doing color I love the greens and the purples and I mean I like pinks but I tend to be allergic to a lot of the pinks so I don't wear a lot of pinks I have found some that I'm not allergic to and that's fine uh, but look at that oh yes I'm going to have fun with this <laughs> so let's swatch a couple we'll do this matte brown down in the corner and then we'll do this purple shimmer this lilac shimmer this other purple shimmer and they're different and this is kind of a, a like a burgundy purple on my thumb look how pretty they are oh look how pretty they are Oh my goodness. Let's try the matte one first. Oh yeah, that's nice and pigmented. And then the purples. Look at those purples. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty they are. I love Huda Beauty. I don't wear them enough just because I have so many palettes. I'm always trying to dry different ones I just want to try them all you know I wish I had three faces or something <laughs> or three sets of eyes and I would do them all different but yeah all right let me try this darker one this dark purple matte I'm gonna put it up here oh look at that look at that super pigmented super pretty shimmers they go on like butter nice and smooth so yeah let me let me look back here for you and um i'll show you the other haze one i have it's my cutie beauty box yeah it's a wild palette but it's right on top <coughs> see the khaki haze let's see let's open that up and show you that's the khaki haze so yeah, I mean a lot of people you know, they talk about her obsessions palettes are not as good as the big palettes. And that may be true. I just have a couple of her obsession palettes. Um and I do, you know, I enjoy the big palettes. I love, you know, um all the ones I've tried. The rose quartz one, that's beautiful. But I've only used it one time because <laughs> I have so many palettes. But I do I did enjoy this khaki haze. So I wanted to try the purple haze and it was at a discount price. I can't remember what I paid, but it was in the add-on. So it was definitely discounted and um, let's clean my fingers here. Oh, look how nice. I'm going to have fun with that. So it's a nine shade palette and that's what I got in my add-ons this month. So tell me what you think. Did you get any add-ons? What'd you get in your premium box? Are we boxy twins or anything? And uh, let me know. I want to know it all. I want to know it. I want to know the T, right? <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I got for you. So I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.